Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. The Waymores join us today to preview their concert tonight at Spirits. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having, thanks us. For having us. Of course, y'all are a, a couple mm -hmm. duet, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. right? Tell us a little bit about your music style. It's very vintage country. You know, we really like to cling to those old classic country duets like Johnny and June and, you know, George and Tammy. So we like to do, we you know, we have our own material, of course, three albums worth, but we also like to tip into the old standards bucket and do some of those old classics. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what can people expect to see when they come out to Spirits tonight to watch y'all? Uh, well, you get a lot of uh, us picking on each other on stage, <laughs> uh, just like a married couple would. Um, but you also get a lot of really good old honky-tonk style acoustic music. Yep. Um, a lot of good stories in between. Lots of good stories. and Well, we think they're good. Hopefully that everyone else does. <laughs> Um, and we're just, we like to get the crowd involved. We like to, you know, at every show we meet new friends. We interact with the audience. Yeah. It kind of becomes, you know, a little bit of an interactive show. It's a good time. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a really great time and that you are very entertaining, <laughs> even when not singing, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how y'all started this band together, The Waymores. We met in this big ensemble group that was just, um, kind of a corporate thing I think mostly it was an Opry sure. style show and uh, you know I played a couple of instruments and sang some but everybody would kind of switch up but Kira was the female voice in that and that's where we met and uh, that has you know gone away that group but we stayed together in about 2017 we decided that we wanted to start something together and then 2018 we did our well we put one little video out and it got so much response that we wound up but having a tour all the way to Arizona, Arizona and yeah. back in 2018, and we've just never stopped touring, except for that one time. <laughs> the world yeah. Right, right, the yeah. 2020. Yeah. But yeah. But we, since, yeah, other than that, we just uh, we try our best to do 150 to 200 shows a year. Uh, we're trying to work up back up to the 200 yeah. right now. It's been um, a but we just we love to travel and you know music lets us see the world. We've mm -hmm. you know been to Europe and, and you know just we music's taken us everywhere and we love it. What's the best part about being on stage together? Getting off of stage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just love that I have my partner and yeah. on everything up there with me. And sometimes I still get, we've been doing this for a very long time, but I still get stage fright all the time. And all I have to do is look over to him and he's my rock and yeah. can just be like, we're good. We're good. We've got this. So for me, it's very important to have him there next to me and uh, just have that strength. We're very locked in. It's uh, we, you know, there's so many songs that we know how to do, and that sometimes one of us will pull a song out that we've never performed before, and the other one just locks right By in. By one of us, he means him. <laughs> I've never done that to him. He always does that to me. <laughs> but we lock right in. You know, we're just synced up. So you know, so it, eventually it's, you'll sync yeah, up. Yeah, that's yeah. Fun. And, and we do it. Uh, we, we sometimes we travel with the full band too, but we do most of it at this point right now, just the duo. Uh, but it's just my favorite way to do it, the freedom of just, you know, you don't have to uh, tell the band what's going on. It's just we're so in sync mm. that, you know, there's, I mean, just endless amounts of songs, you know, old standards or any, anything that we want to do. It's just easy. It's, it's mm. a lot of freedom playing music yeah. this way. That's fantastic. And when you don't have the whole band with you, what instruments do you all play? We just both have acoustic guitars and... Two, two um, guitars, two voices. Yep. And oh, a lot of bad wow. jokes. A and bad a lot jokes? Of terrible I don't jokes. know about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what time will the show be tonight? Uh, I think we start at 6.30 tonight. Okay. And we'll play till about 9.30. Okay, great. That's so exciting. And y'all have never been to Alexandria before. No, we've no. played several other spots in central Louisiana. But, but we had uh, a lot of requests to come through. Uh, mm -hmm. I, so we're excited to be here. I Very. hope the turnout's really, really good. I'm sure it will be. I mean, and Spirits is a great venue, of course, cool. too, to play hear. at. And so <laughs> Spirits has a lot to live up to. Everybody's, yes. <laughs> everybody's, everybody's told us how yeah. wonderful it is. So. Yes, yes, it really is, though. Okay, so uh, I asked you about the best part about being on stage mm -hmm. together. What is the least favorite part about being on stage together, if there is one? Uh, should we say there isn't one, or should we admit no? Yeah. <laughs> um, my least, so obviously if you're a couple, you're going to have like marital problems, you yeah. know, you're going to argue at times 
And uh, so I guess it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. It saves us. It saved us from a few arguments before because we have to be on right. and be presenting in front of people. Nobody wants to hear about your argument. <laughs> so by the end of the show, we forget sometimes why we're mad at each other. Yeah. So that's kind of nice, but that is uh, a little bit of a tough, a tough nut to crack sometimes. Yeah, it's really tough sometimes, you know, if uh, you're at a venue and the sound's bad, you know, and uh, there, you know, you get aggravated at work just like anybody does, you know. Right. But uh, you know that doesn't happen as often as. You know, and it surely won't happen tonight. It surely won't happen tonight. <laughs> it's fantastic venue spirits. Um, mm. But you know, sometimes sounds bad. You know, you get you get aggravated because of the the sound, and your partner thinks, "Oh, you're aggravated at something with me." Yeah. And you have to be, "No, I'm just mad at the sound, or right. I'm mad at yeah. you know Joe Schmo's <laughs> over there talking louder <laughs> louder than we're performing." Or but you know, little there's little aggravations, yeah. but it's nothing major. I think everybody has bad days at work. So yeah, yeah, I'm just absolutely. happy to be on stage singing yeah. and making money and not swinging a hammer or digging a ditch. Yeah. Right, right, and you know, you'll do a lot of covers, like you said, inspiration from like uh, you know Johnny Cash mm -hmm. and yeah. June, and yep. um, but you also write your own music too yes, yes, very and do y'all so. uh perform any of your original stuff oh yeah, oh, yeah it's mostly it. originals with a few covers thrown in Good. depending on the venue depending on the crowd we like to give the crowd what they want but we also want our name to be known yeah. and to be out there so we try to fit in as many of our songs as possible yeah you know so if it's like you know tonight's a new market for us and stuff you know you want to win some of the people who don't know you really you want to win them over with some familiar stuff that they know win their hearts over with that you know a little Johnny and June and they're oh these guys aren't so bad then you throw your songs on them. <laughs> and they're like oh these guys are so bad <laughs> I was wrong this song I is really terrible. doubt that will happen I yeah. highly doubt it no but I we just a finished show. a new album uh, we recorded with the legendary Shel Tommy who you know made the uh, the Who, the Kinks, you know, he's David Bowie's manager. Mm -hmm. He'd never recorded a country album, and he's, you know, in his mid-80s and wanted to record, and we won some kind of... <laughs> he found out about us and wanted us to come to L.A. and record. It was on his bucket list to make a country album before he passed, you know, in his later days, and so wow. we made an album with him out in L.A., and it comes out August the 25th, and singles are coming out already. Our, our, our next single, what will be the third single from this album, comes out on the 21st of this month. Okay. And it is a cover of a Buck Owens song called Under Your Spell Again. Okay. And where can people find your music? You can find any streaming platform where, uh, you know, just find us, The Waymores is the name of us. And um, you, we're also thewaymores.com. Way Instagram, more. Facebook, TikTok, uh, Threads, the Threads app. The Threads, the threads app. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the threads. So uh, we're, we're everywhere, and you can find us at the Waymores. Fantastic. But most importantly, coming to Spirits tonight, yeah. yep. 6 o'clock, yep. to see y'all play. Guys, mm -hmm. thanks so much for coming thanks on the show. Thanks for having us. Yeah. the preview. We can't wait. Yeah. Thanks. I hope you make the show. Oh, I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> we have more to come on Good Days in Law. Stay tuned.